think that thumbnail sketching is essential. I think it's a very important way of drawing. The main thing that to remember about thumbnail sketching is it doesn't have to be a perfect finished drawing. A thumbnail sketch is something very simple, a basic simple representation of what you're seeing. And again, you're not looking for any details. You're just looking for that, that shape and that form. Think of thumbnails like shorthand notes for artists, quick abbreviated drawings. It's a way to plan for a more finished sketch or a finished drawing. You'll notice that I'm drawing these thumbnails based off of more than one photo of a person. And the reason I do this is because I'm not quite sure which photo reference I want to really settle with. So I'm going to explore this person from different angles. I'm going to quickly block out my impressions. It's like, like I said, it's like an artist shorthand. So you're not worried about if, if you screw up. You know, you might get the nose off a little bit or the eyes might be off a little bit. You're just trying to get the main feeling and idea of this person and exploring different angles and different possibilities. One thing that's interesting about thumbnail sketching is by doing multiple thumbnails of a person based on the same photo or, or a few photos, is you learn from each drawing that you do. You learn how not to do things. I mean, it's okay to do a bunch of thumbnails that look horrible and don't look anything like the person because you're learning how not to draw this person. You're learning the rules of drawing this person, what you can get away with, what you can't get away with. And it's exciting and it's fun and I love sketching thumbnails and doing as many as possible and it's a real exciting way to, to develop new and interesting ways of drawing uh, the same person. There was times in the past where I would just do a sketch of somebody for an illustration job I was working on. I needed to get a likeness of someone, let's say George Bush, and I would just settle with the first sketch I came up with. And after a while of doing that, I would do a sketch and I, and I realized I had a little bit more time to mess around, and I would end up doing another quick sketch of George Bush, and then I realized the second sketch I did was much better than the first sketch that I did. So then I thought, hmm, what? what's going to happen if I do another sketch and then maybe another one. So then I started doing a bunch more. I would maybe fill up a page in my notebook of quick little doodles of the same photo reference basically. And what this does is it gives me more options to choose from. It gives me more to work with. So instead of just settling with the first thing I come up with, I can explore the possibilities that are there. And I basically end up with way better likenesses, way better shape, better humor. As you can see here, I'm continuing to do my thumbnails from the exact same photo references. And I'm doing this because I'm trying to explore what else I can do differently with this person. And I'm not going to just be settled with the first version that I came up with. I like the first sketch, but can I push it a little bit further? Can I do something a little bit more humorous? Can I pull the face down more? Can I adjust the angle? And then basically giving myself two, three different options in three different versions off the same reference, I have more to work with uh, and, and more that I can develop into a final drawing and then finally a nice final painting.
you can see with this sketch, I actually am pushing the features a little bit more cartoony and simplifying a little bit more, and that will translate just fine uh, in a final painting. So for this next set of thumbnails, take notice of the different variations and different approaches that I take uh, while sketching Chris. My goal here is to be creative and see what I can do with the features that are provided for me in the references. And you can see in the references that I'm not just, you know, using one or two shots. I'm using a string of shots of his head slowly turning. And this helps me get a good idea. Even though I'm drawing a front view, it helps me get a good feeling for how he looks from uh, different angles. Having more than one reference while drawing someone is a really nice thing to have because even when you're drawing someone from a front view, you can look at the different um, references that you have and see what certain features are doing, like the nose might be curving down a little bit or something like that, and you can't quite see it in the front view. Those kind of things will really help develop the drawing that you're working on. In this second thumbnail here, partway through, I, I started realizing that I wasn't quite happy with how it was looking. It, it's not quite capturing the feeling of Chris that I really wanted to capture. I mean, it, some of the essentials are there, but it's not quite as humorous as I would like it to be, and it's not capturing the spirit and the likeness as much as I want. So you'll see that because of this sketch not going the way I want, I take another stab at it from the exact same photo reference. and. The interesting thing is by doing thumbnail sketches like this, I have now figured out one way how not to draw Chris. And this isn't horrible, but it's definitely not as good or as strong as it could be, and it's a little bit too portraity for me, and I feel that I could express something a little bit more exciting than this. So I'm going to have another stab at it. You can see with this next version, it comes together in, in a much funnier way. It looks so much more like him. And really what happened is, while doing the, the first one from this view, I figured out how to approach it the second time. And so the second time drawing this was almost like tracing. It was almost as easy as tracing. You'll notice too that even in this thumbnail, if you look at the eyes, I didn't draw any eyes or any detail. I just squinted my eyes and, and sketched in the shape of the shadows in the sockets of his eyes. And that's enough to capture his likeness right there. This is a sketch I did from that thumbnail. And this is a sketch I did from the first thumbnail. As we continue with the thumbnail sketches, you'll notice that I'm simplifying and simplifying as I go. And the more I draw Chris, the more confident I become in these quick little studies, and the more humorous they get, and the stronger the likenesses become. For example, the thumbnail on the left is funny and looks like Chris. The new version, based off the same sketch, it looks even more like Chris. So if I were to choose 
which thumbnail to develop into a final piece, I would for sure choose the thumbnail on the right side. You'll notice a difference between the references from this batch of thumbnails to the previous batch of thumbnails in that in these references, Chris is not smiling. And I wanted to get two different versions, you know, one of him smiling, one of him not smiling. I thought it would be interesting to explore the different things that happen to his face and overall would just make for a more interesting drawing session. And actually, I ended up really liking the non-smiling Chris a lot more because I feel, me knowing him, that it captures his personality when he's, when he's relaxed. And so for me personally, uh, the likenesses are a lot more fun. And I like this sketch. I like the thumbnail that's on the left side, but again, it could be pushed a little bit further. It can be a little bit humorous, but still a little bit portrait-y, so I'm having another go at it, this time loosening up a little bit and learning again you know, from the first one I did and simplifying a little bit more. Let's see you know, what we can do with the same ideas, but let's take them to another place and see what happens. Now out of all the Chris thumbnails on this page out of the side views, this Chris, this last and final one, is my favorite and for me really captures Chris's personality and his mood and look. And I really like this sketch a lot, it's really funny. And I would have never found this out, I would have never figured this out or, or discovered it if I hadn't given myself the opportunity to, to play with his features a little bit. And these, uh, these thumbnails don't take any time, they're quick, and really, Practicing like this is going to develop your drawing skills and you don't have to be into caricature or portrait art. Doing thumbnails and practicing in this way is going to benefit you in all kinds of different drawing, whether it be uh, you know, wildlife or, or comics or anything. Thumbnail sketching, I, I believe, is a very important practice to maintain. Here's all the non-smiling Chris thumbnail sketches, and I decided to take one of them to a more completed painted sketch. So sit back and enjoy. Enjoy. 